after this incredible mountaintop experience where these people gathered on this hillside and, and Jesus preached to them all day. That he preached about the kingdom of God. They were all hungry. And, and uh, the disciples wanted Jesus to, to send them home and, and get something to eat. But what did Jesus uh, say to them, to his disciples? He said, you feed them. They found this boy that had five loaves and two fish. Miraculously, Jesus fed the 5,000 people or more with these meager resources. And after it was open, this happened. John 6, 14 and 15. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who has come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. You see, God's vision for Jesus was far greater than the plans the Israelites had to make Jesus their earthly king. Jesus understood God's plan of establishing the eternal kingdom, and he refused to to be crowned the king of their temporary king. Now later towards the end of Jesus' life, during that holy week, when the people realized that Jesus was not going to be their warrior king, what did they do? They turned on him. They demanded that Pilate give them Barabbas rather than Jesus. Barabbas was a fighter. Barabbas was a warrior. Jesus went to the cross, suffered, and died. There he died for our sins, and he established on that cross this eternal kingdom for all who would call upon the name of the Lord and seek forgiveness through Christ. Now, in a few months, we're, we are going to elect our king, as you say, our president, or our queen, whatever, whatever happens, whoever wins the election. But these passages of Scripture remind us there is something far greater. The kingdoms of this earth will eventually rise and fall, but God's kingdom is eternal. So discovering the principles and the teachings of Christ and the truths of God's kingdom and then applying them to our lives should be our priority. Because when we do, when we do, no matter what happens in this world around us, as we said earlier, so many bad things are happening. No matter what happens in this world around us, our feet will be firmly planted on the foundation of God's kingdom. Amen. Let's turn to our uh, final hymn, Open My Eyes, that I might be a seat.
on you and give you peace. Mm -hmm.